Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last couple of weeks, as I have been posting, um, we've been talking about and dealing with a LSA protection bug uh, um, as part of the Windows Security app um, that's been causing problems and headaches for a lot of users, which if we head to device security core isolation, um, is this feature here, local security authority protection, which helps protect your credentials by preventing unsigned drivers and plugins from loading into the local security authority and um, I have posted a whole lot of videos on this and I'll leave one down below if you'd like some more info and uh, um, last week I actually posted a video that uh, Microsoft may have fixed uh, the Windows 11 Defender LSA protection bug where it was showing the warning message um, to restart to device and prompting you for a device restart and I'll also leave a link to that video in the description. Now, um, just to let you know that it seems now that according to Microsoft, they have now confirmed that they have resolved and actually fixed this issue. And if we head to the known issues website over on Microsoft Docs, local security authority protection is off with persistent restart. Um, as I posted uh, last week, uh, they may have fixed the issue, but they didn't say it was resolved. But now we can see that this issue was resolved on the 25th of April, which was yesterday in my region with Microsoft saying, uh, resolution, this issue was resolved in an update from Microsoft Defender antivirus anti-malware platform, which as I've mentioned previously is KB5007651 version 1.0.2303.27001. So if we just head over quickly to Windows Update, and we head to our update history and we look for definition updates. Uh, this is the update they are talking about. 5007651 version 1230327001. And as you can see, I've received that recently. And according to Microsoft, um, this update resolves the issue. And um, if you haven't received it yet, which you should have, depending on your region, you can just check for updates and Windows Update will download and install that update automatically. Now, once again, as I did post last week, Microsoft says they have resolved the issue with that update. Now, I've actually gone to my LSA protection again today. It's not showing now, but once again, um, I am still seeing the warning message, although Microsoft say they have resolved the issue. So I'm scratching my head with this one. Um, this is now the second video I have posted in the last week. Um, the first one, as mentioned, was they may have fixed it. And that was according to Desk Modder. And as mentioned, I'll leave that video down below. And according to um, Microsoft Docs, they have resolved the issue. But I'm still seeing that prompt to restart my device. Um, I have seen it um, on a couple of times. I've seen it a couple of times already today. So um, once again, I'm going to say otherwise with this one, although Microsoft says they have resolved the issue. But nonetheless, you may be more fortunate and have better luck than me and go check it out to see if that bug has been resolved if you have experienced the issue, which according to Microsoft, it has been addressed on the 25th of April. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.